Good evening. Um, thank you all once again. I know this is a special meeting um, to the chair and vice chair, to the county administrator, to everybody. I do appreciate the opportunity and the time that you've given us. Uh, one of the comments that I will make later on in a couple of minutes has to do with adaptability. And I guess when you have a PowerPoint presentation and no PowerPoint, um, that, will, that will test my ability to adapt. Won't Just informed the reason we lost this is our entire county network went down. Did it? And that's how we run that. So it doesn't look like we're going to get it back either this evening. So we apologize for that. That's, that's quite all right. Um, you won't have to trust my artistic capability. Hopefully my descriptive capability will, uh, will come in handy. Um, my name is Ken Miller. I do wear several hats in this community, some of which uh, have probably precipitated some of the questions from a couple of commissioners tonight. But tonight I'm here with a single hat, and that is a community activist, longtime community activist, and a very strong proponent of this project. Um, there, are, there are three things, and what I want to stress is the event center, the hearts of the Arcadia Commons West project is the event center. That is the lifeline that will pump the blood, that will make everything else happen. It cannot, nor should it happen, without the peripheral development of the Arcadia Commons West that Ken just mentioned. Nor should Arcadia Commons West be considered a project that can or should happen without the event center itself. I'm here to talk specifically tonight about some of the benefits that the event center has to this particular community. And there are, there are basically three. One is a resolution of a blighted area. A second would be the, the amalgam, the bringing together of, of many of our colleges, universities, our, our educational institutions, and our neighborhoods in our core city. And the second, obviously, is the economic benefit uh, that hopefully will occur. The event center is clearly a core development within our core city. But this is, as Ken mentioned, this is our county's downtown. You can see it on the maps. You can feel it. Few can deny that the effects of a community, of its urban, suburban, and rural areas, are all affected by what goes on in the core. Blight starts at your core. Success starts at your core. Take a look at our neighbors to the north, by which we are all too often, good and bad, compared. The urban, suburban, and rural areas around Grand Rapids are viewed statewide as successful. We'll take a look at some of our other communities in this state, and we all know who they are, and I won't mention them by names, but they have ignored their core. The blight has started. It has affected everything around those communities without fail. The thriving communities have focused on their core. This community, where we are at this very evening, is the core of our financial, our legal, our cultural, uh, our medical hub in this county. People from all over the county, every one of your various constituencies, utilize the services of the libraries, the museums, the cancer center, the Radisson, the hospitals, the courts. These are all county-wide benefits that serve the constituents that you serve. The event center will simply be one more service and attraction that will be added to those lists. Now, one, and I would refer you back to your list, and unfortunately it's going to be very difficult to see this, it's called the hub, the integrated concept. One of the most significant benefits that we feel is derived from not just Arcadia Commons West, but again, from the driving uh, of the event center, will be the, the bridge, the melding of one of our basic critical assets in this community, and that's our neighborhoods and our colleges and universities. If you take a look, and I apologize for having to do it this way, uh, but it's the best I got. On yours, you will see that in the very, very core, in the nine acres where we have proposed to put Arcadia Commons West, where we have proposed to do the event center, we are surrounded by our north side community, by our Douglas community, Stewart Avenue community, West Main, Kalamazoo College, Western Michigan University, Vine neighborhood, our central business district, KVCC's campus, and Edison. But what do you notice? Nobody touches anybody. We have a wall. We have the Berlin Wall in nine acres of concrete and dirt set in just a couple acres from here, and it sat there for 12 years. Ever since that property was abandoned, donated actually in the year 2000, but Cole Gilmore pulled out of there in 1997, people, 12 years, not one project. 
Well, everybody knows that the north side starts on the north side of Kalamazoo Ave. We all know where Stewart Avenue starts, and we all know where the Vine neighborhood starts. They all are defined by a road that blocks them from going any further north, south, east, or west. Why can we not use this opportunity, seize this opportunity, to make this the epicenter of every one of those neighborhoods, to make this the epicenter and the core of three universities, colleges, KVCC, K College, and Western Michigan University. They have all expressed interest. And this is the opportunity. This is the time to seize that. Again, we have created, or allowed, I should say, to be created a wall. When in truth, it's, it's, a, it's an oasis, a concrete dirt oasis. When in truth, it should be the bridge that we are proud of here in this community. Beyond the core benefit, obviously, of bringing our neighborhoods together and, and of curing this blighted area that sat there for 12 years is obviously the economic benefit. And that's one of the key drivers I think anybody will, will um, be concerned with. Arcadia Commons West, as Ken has mentioned, is nothing more than the continuation of a vision started 15 plus years ago by some of our community leaders. And God bless them. I wasn't one of them. I wasn't there, but God bless for what they did because what Arcadia Commons East did, and if you were to take a look on another one of your charts, you will notice here, this is graphic, you will see that everything to the east here, it's already done. It is complete. That is Arcadia Commons West. This community, through the vision of our leaders 15 years ago, and 15 years ago, forgive me, I'm taking a look around the room, there are a few of you here who don't remember it as well as I do, and downtown was much more blighted than what we see over there in that corner right, uh, right now. We have an opportunity here, and if you take a look around, that just surrounding this building, in fact, if the commissioners will, will think hard back to 15 years ago, what this area looked like. 